oftentimes founders think that they are like the smartest people in the universe. Founders tend to be pretty smart, but very, very, very willing to take on risk. And so your first couple of employees should be a lot smarter and just a little bit more risk adverse than you are. If when you're hiring someone, you don't think you're increasing the average intelligence of the company, you made a mistake because those people are basically your hiring advertisement. If those people are smart, other smart people are going to want to come to your company. If those people are not smart, everyone knows it. So don't, I mean, one of the things that I always think about is like, if you can't hire someone who's smarter than you, just do it yourself. You know, it doesn't, hiring a lot of people is not required. Um, be fair and transparent. When you give someone an offer, you need to tell them how much stock they're getting. They should get stock. You need to tell them how much stock is outstanding. You need to tell them whether their salary is, you know, typical for what you give. And if not, be honest. A lot of the times your first employees are your most viable. And if you show them loyalty, they'll show you loyalty back. And then the last thing is hire slow. My second company, Social Cam, had three founders. When we sold, we had three founders, no employees. We didn't necessarily want it to be that way, but we were able to grow a product to over 20 million downloads with three people. So don't tell me that you can't do a lot with just your founding team. You can do a whole lot. I think Instagram sold for a billion and they were under 20. So hire slow. You can do it. Um, very quickly, if you're interested in applying to YC, I'm going to go through this super fast. One, make sure you've got that team makeup that I said before. If it's five business people and an engineer in India who doesn't work full time and is from a consulting company, that does not look like one of the most successful companies coming out of the world right now. So change it. Launch or be ready to imminently launch. Make sure you're going after a billion dollar market. Try to grow as much as possible. And always think about how not you can just get into YC, how you can graduate at the top of your class. A lot of companies feel like getting into YC is the whole game. It's just the beginning. We tell, I mean, 3,000 companies apply every six months. About 85 got in the last batch. And every single one of them we told, it just started right now. Like, you didn't win anything. So... Make sure you understand how can you finish, not just how you can start YC. For the YC interview, I'll skip this. If anyone wants to talk to me about that, we can do that later. So that's everything that I know about startups. I think I did it in under 15 minutes. A couple things. If any of you guys want to apply to YC or considering it, I'm going to be here all afternoon in the VIP section. You can grab me for 10 minutes. Ask me whatever you want. Um, the other thing is, is that if any of you guys have applications that you'd like me to review before submitting them, you can just email me at michael at ycombinator.com. Bam. All right. Thank you, guys.